Number 1. Water is polar. Water is polar molecule, meaning it has a positive and negative charge on the opposite side of the molecule. It can be proven if it is attracted to a charged object. Let's do some experiment. First, we need materials like balloon, water, needle, comb, glass, or any other container. I will put water in the balloon and pierce it using the needle. Then I will put the used comb beside the water. As you can see, the water is attracted to the comb by following it. Number 2. Water is the universal solvent. Water is called the universal solvent because it can dissolve anything, even the strongest acid. This property of water is due to its polarity. Because it is polar, it can dissolve all polar and ionic substance. However, it can dissolve non-polar substance. So let's make this connotation clear. Let's do some experiment. So let's try dissolving sugar, salt, baking soda, vinegar, and oil. After mixing the different substances into the water, we can observe that the oil is the only substance left undissolved because it is non-polar, while the other are ionic and polar. The sugar is polar, the salt is ionic, etc. Number 3. Water is less dense as a solid than a liquid. It is very uncommon, and like other substance, ice is less dense than the liquid water. Let's do some experiment. To show this, we only need one thing. Water with two different faces, the liquid and the solid face. Number 4. Water has high specific heat. This property makes water a good absorbent of heat that is why during summer we are not afraid to dive into the pool although the sun is so bright. Let's do some experiment. To prove this, we need another balloon filled with water and a candle. If we place the balloon into the fire, what do you think will happen? Of course, it will explode. But if you put water inside it, look what will happen. Number 5. Water has cohesive and adhesive properties. Cohesion is the tendency of water to stick to one another. It is a water-to-water -water interaction. One good example is when a small amount of water is dripped in the same location. It doesn't flow very easily. 
Let's do some experiment. I can prove this one using a coin and water. Dripping water continuously, it is expected that the water will flow, but because of the cohesive property of water, it will create a skin-like structure, which is called a surface tension. Adhesion on the other hand is a property of water wherein it sticks to the other substance. This property of water is greatly observable in a container with a narrow diameter. It sticks to the container and forms a curve facing upward. One example of addition and cohesion of water is capillary action. Capillary action is the upward movement of water that defies gravity. Let's do some experiment! 